gonna smoke me a fat and brisket. Here come the food police. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some deep fried wild turkey at the pit. And it's real easy to do. All right, for this recipe, you're going to need some garlic. About 10 cloves of garlic. Never enough garlic. Because what we're doing here is we're making the brine. So to this, we're adding some jalapeno peppers. We're going to be adding some salt. Oh, yeah. And here we've got some SPG. Also includes salt, as most of you know. But it's got some pepper in there, right? It's got some red pepper in there. It's got some garlic. All kinds of good stuff for the brine. Now, this is a kind of a cider brine. So to this, we're adding one gallon of apple cider. You know it's going to be a good brine when you're using some apple cider. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Now, for this recipe, you're going to need some um, orange juice. A half gallon. Adds that little uh, citrus kick to it. Perfect for wild turkey. And for this, you're also going to need some oranges. Kicking up the uh, orange a bit, right? Oh, yeah. So we just uh, cut up a couple oranges. Two, three, what you got. Quarter them. And just throw them in the bucket. Or the pan. All right. Now, you're also going to need some uh, brown sugar. About a cup. Now, you can head on over to our website to get the exact recipe. You can print it out. So we just keep it, giving it a mix. And now we're going to bring it to some fire. We want to melt all that goodness together. The salt, the sugar. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You just uh, bring it up to simmer. Doesn't take long. All right. It's been cooled down. So now we're going to throw it into uh, the big bucket, which already has a gallon of water in it. And now we're going to take this bird. And we're going to submerge it. Now you might have to add more liquid to bring the surface to the top so the bird stays soaked. Now, you're going to let sit this overnight in a refridge no warmer than 45 degrees Fahrenheit so be patient and of course the next day <laughs> this is when it happens so you want to uh, heat up your favorite uh, frying oil get the burner started and we'll bring it up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit Now, of course, uh, follow the instructions on your deep fryer, right? You want to be careful. And, of course, uh, we're all getting together for some uh, deep-fried wild turkey. And be sure to bring your fire extinguisher. Deep-frying turkey is serious business. Take it serious. You can start a fire real easy if you don't know what you're doing. All right, now, like I said... This has been chilling overnight in the commercial refrigerator. You could also have been packed it in some ice. And now this is going to be drained. We want to get all the moisture off of this thing. It's important before you drop it into some hot oil. So we'll just take some paper towels inside, outside, get it dry. Whoa. Oh, yeah. This is good living at the pit. All right. Now, to the fryer. This is what we're waiting for, I think. 
So we got our uh, heating oil up to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, more or less. And now we're going to coat it with some sweet Martha. It's one of our rubs. Now this is typically not done in a deep fry, but we're gonna show you why this works and how it works. So we're gonna coat it real good. Now if you don't have our sweet Martha, well you can choose your favorite rub. But not all rubs work the same on this deep fry. All right. All right. Got her coated good just the way she likes it. <laughs> all right. Now. We're going to mount them on the stand. This is the fry stand you drop into the hot oil. Of course, uh, you know about that. Oh yeah, there she goes. Perfect. Now again, be real careful. You may have all seen some of them uh, videos of people doing this off their decks in their yard. And the next thing you know, they got a major explosion on their hands. And people will burn down their houses because they don't know how to do a deep fried turkey. Now, the trick, go real slow, real slow into the hot oil. This reduces your spatter. And of course, if you dropped it in right away, you'd bubble over big time and could very well ignite. And now you got a fire department coming at the pit. So again, use common sense. Watch that hot oil spatter. And you can see how long it takes to drop it in the oil. Now, of course, there's a reason for doing deep fried turkey, right? It's awesome. The best turkey you'll have. Just tell your mama you're doing the turkey this year. <laughs> no, let mama cook her turkey. Just cook this on the side. You don't want to upset mama and her turkey, right? All right. So we've uh, completely submerged. We've got the perfect fry going. And of course, you want to monitor your temperatures with your frying thermometer. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Lord have mercy. We're going to be eating good tonight, Martha. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, take a look at that. Not long to go. All right. I say this turkey is done. Now, according to your directions and the size bird you have, it's a certain amount of minutes per pound. And this turkey is done, just the way we like it. Now drain some of that uh, hot oil off it. And we'll bring it to the board. And just let it rest a bit, let it cool down. Oh, are you kidding me? This is perfect. Now, while we're waiting for uh, the turkey to cool down, we'll fry up some uh, green beans, do a flash fry. Crunchy, crispy, only takes a few minutes. And of course, we're doing deep fried wild turkey. Let's do some fries. And as most of you know, doing your fries and a big cooker like this are the ultimate fries. Of course, 
Hit it with some salt and some uh, SPG if you prefer. Goes real good with fries. All right. Now, the turkey has been cooled down a little bit. At least you can handle it. Now, let's show you what we got going in here. Oh, awesome. This bird is going to be totally moist and tender. And this is wild turkey, too. This ain't one of those uh, farm-raised birds. And you can tell here because you can see the uh, breast is much smaller than a typical uh, farm-raised bird. That's because a wild turkey uses its breast muscles. They're strong flyers. They're powerful flyers. As anybody who uh, hunts knows. So there's not a lot of... Uh, breast meat and wild turkey and of course it's all natural these birds eat nothing but grain bugs good things all right oh it's good thumbs up it's nice and crispy that's a great seasoning oh, are you kidding me look at that This is what it's like at the pit, kicking back, eating some uh, great this food. Too much flavor in a wild turkey. Look at that pull apart. You know it's good, and you know you're, it's not your mama's turkey either, right? No, no, I love your mama. Mm. Now, you might call this the bark. Look at that. This is outrageous. The flavors, because of the sweet Martha and the brine. You got to check this out. Oh. Are you kidding? That's turkey bark. Right there. Turkey bark. You got to stand in line for this one. Your mama's That's right. And you can plate these up any way you want. How about some crispy fries, some crispy beans, a nice slice of turkey. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, you can head on over to our website, like I said, to get the exact recipe. And when you're there, uh, start your own Pit Boys chapter. We hold everything. <laughs> Off goes the leg. So remember, the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.